we were just talking about how tight end is the best position in, in all of football. Thank you. It's uh, you know, go figure. No, we weren't. We were talking about <laughs> uh, we were talking about kind of how we feel like this position has evolved with Shane Waldron. Do you yeah. sense right? Because it's like he has this tight end background bump. You know more about this than I do, but it feels like he brought a different kind of energy and maybe like a vision for the position group. Do you sense that? Absolutely. I think Shane understands how versatile all of us can be. Yeah. You look at the run game, pass game, he's using us in all types of different ways, different motions mm -hmm. to uh, present, you know, the same look to the defense, but really we're doing a lot of different things. A couple of times I saw you guys line up in the backfield last year as kind of like a full bat lead blocker. Mm -hmm. What's that like for you? I mean, you're in the trenches already, but yeah. I would assume that's just a different angle and a different feel when you're back there. Sure. I got to be the tallest fullback of all time when I line up back there. <laughs> uh, but I like it. I mean, it's Don't fun. Don't tell Nick. Yeah, yeah exactly. you really hurt. <laughs> I didn't say the best fullback. Don't worry. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but it's fun. I mean, I like switching it up. Shane does a great job of doing that for us. Yeah. Um, are you, uh, how, where do you see the offense? You're so limited in what you can tell us. I'm yeah. trying to frame it the right sure. way. Where where do you see the offense evolving and some of just some words that you can use? Uh, where is the hope that the offense evolves this year? Yeah, I mean, at our best last year, we were tough to beat. You know, yeah. we're scoring when we want to. We're imposing our will in the run game, marrying it up with the pass game. It's more the same of that. We're not mm -hmm. trying to do anything crazy. Yeah, um, it's just being. Yeah, exactly. We're trying to be the best that we can be. Last year, you put on some pounds. Mm -hmm. What'd you do this offseason? Put on some more. Yeah. Yeah. I'm about to, 265 right now, so a little heavier than I'm, than I'm used to, but the pounds are shedding off quickly in camp, as you yeah. can imagine. What'd you do to, to is, it, is this like, a, oh, I had extra protein powder, or is this one of those fun <laughs> things where it's like, oh, I got to put on weight, so I ate like, 14 days of chicken wings? <laughs> uh, like, is this a fun put on the pounds situation? Honestly, I didn't try too hard. I okay. think I'm finally getting older where I'm actually getting able to keep the weight that I put on. Oh, wow. But for the past, you know, three years, I was, I mean, I'm only 24 still. So yeah. Yeah. pretty, pretty young. My metabolism was firing on all cylinders. That must so. be fun. Thank you, yeah. Colby. <laughs> <laughs> what's, it, uh, what's it like going through the install this year? Because, you know, your first year is some of the language is new. Some of the combinations yep. might be new. Your second year, you learn more. Um, is the install just a breeze now or is Shane still putting in stuff that makes you think a little bit? I wouldn't say it's a breeze, but it's, I mean, it's all stuff I've seen before, but it's picking up on those details now. You know, I'm not just worried about doing my job. I'm making sure I know what everyone is doing, so I'm in the right spot at the right time. So uh, it's lots of veterans coming back with tight end. You guys don't have a new drafted tight end. Have you gotten a chance, because I know the offense all works together, so for pass catching drills or anything, have you gotten a chance to see any of uh, JSN and, and yeah. Jackson? What do you think about him? Uh, he looks great. I mean, he's incredibly quick and fast, and yeah. uh, I mean, get that guy in space. He'll be very dynamic for us. I'm excited to see it. That's awesome. I am hoping, you might have ran it last year, but I'm hoping to see a tight end screen. Any yeah. chance that we get <laughs> some of that this year? I mean, I sure hope so. I'm right there with you. I'm, I'm hoping for a tight end throwback or something because I, I could throw about 65 yards. Come on, let me just chuck <laughs> it up like, there. Let me get in a fleet flicker. Exactly. Here, like, how, what's the wildest uh, type of play that you've pitched to Shane? Like, hear me uh, out, Shane. Hear I, me out. I mean, every time I'm throwing, I always try to make sure he sees and yeah. make sure he knows. Do you do like, that? Shane, watch this. Yeah. Well, in, in college, I, I threw one pass for a touchdown. Yeah. So my perfect quarterback rating, I mean, I, it's nice. tough to beat that. So. Let's keep I it was going. 0 for 2 with an interception. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's tough. That, no, that one hurts. Not all of us. <laughs> can't do it all. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man, I when the Hawks get into the red zone and you're on the field, I zone in on you, man. Yeah. I'm like, my dude is like 7 feet tall. You got to be able to throw it up to him. Um, when you guys get down there, uh, do you feel like that's a part of the game that they might open up a little bit for you? Uh, I sure hope so. You know, I, I'm working on that uh, camaraderie with Gino, making sure we're on the same page. And it's just trust. You know, he's, he's the one that's making the decisions at the end of the day where the ball goes and working with him to make sure um, that I am where he wants me to be. You know, uh, we talked about uh, red zone third down. You guys started out so strong and then you know, you had injuries to running back for sure. myriad reasons. Yeah. Third downs just kind of, you know, struggled at the end of the year. But that's been a, a weird area for this team for a yeah. while. So I know you guys have had conversations. Yep. I'm sure every week. I'm yeah. sure you're tired of having that. But, <laughs> yeah. but what are some of the themes or lessons that you guys left after last year? Yeah, I think it's it's not necessarily just about third down. It's emphasizing being productive on first and second down. You know, if we're in third and longer, it puts us in a really tough spot. We're probably going to have to throw the ball. Um, but if we're in third and short, it opens up the whole offense. Yeah. Now, I would assume you prefer to catch the ball than the block, right? <laughs> uh, but when you are on the line of scrimmage, you are attached. Is there a run play that you just enjoy blocking the most? 
Yeah, I love duo. Uh, it's just me against the guy in front of me, um, yeah. take him where he wants to go and, and make sure that, you know, I seal off the gap for the running back. Why do you like that one so much? Uh, I, there's not a whole lot of movement. You know, it's like you're taking your inside step and you're going right through his face, and that's kind of all it is. Yeah, I yeah. love it. Get yep. dirty in the box, man. Yep. Um, did you play when you were in high school? Did you play tight end, or did you kind of evolve to that as you got? I older? played tight end in high school as yeah. well. Yeah. Oh, so you're you're in it, man. Oh yeah. All right. I love yeah. it. A lot, a lot of times, you know, DNs get converted to tight ends uh -huh. or tall receivers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I didn't block too much. Let me let me be clear. I did not block too much in high school or college. But. Did they tell you when you came here? Were they like, hey, so we're probably gonna have you block a lot more yes. than you're used to? Yeah. So when I got drafted, Pete was on the phone with me. He's like, hey, you're gonna play Y. And yeah. I was like. Okay, yeah. <laughs> let's, <He's> a, let's go. <laughs> there's this guy, Jimmy Graham. He was great at it. You should watch yeah. some of his tape. No, we love Jimmy. <laughs> We're just kidding. We're just yeah. kidding. Um, hey, so uh, we, we just got one more minute with you, and then yeah. we'll let you go. you got a busy day, but obviously you're a Stanford guy. We've mm -hmm. been talking a lot about the Pac-12 situation yeah, that's crazy. going on. What's, what's kind of your reaction to some uh, of it's it? It's kind of sad. I mean, yeah. like, it seems like everything's falling apart. I hope that there can be some type of unity, bring everyone back together, and you know, keep the pack alive. Yeah. That's yeah. the part about the past coming on. Oh, okay. uh, you get a hit. You're not going to be worried about your shoulders or anything like that. You just get to go for it. It's going to be fun. Who's going to win the day today? Offense, offense for sure. Okay. Yeah, we're ready to go. <laughs> yep. Bump, you're like, yeah, that's right. I'm ready to go. Yep. <laughs> All right. He is Colby Parkinson, kind enough to join us uh, to talk a bit about tight ends this year, what's going to go on with the offense. We cannot wait to see what you guys yeah. look like, not just out there today, but this year. Thanks so much, Colby. Yeah, we appreciate, appreciate you guys. It. God bless.